Today we're making shredded Mexican chicken. Now what can you do with that? Well, we can make some really delicious tacos, enchiladas, or burritos. It's super versatile. Now today I'm gonna to be making this in a stock pot, but you could also cook it in a slow cooker or you know the Instant Pot. So I'll leave directions for that down in the description if you happen to wanna to do it that way. This recipe, like I said, is very easy to put together and make, and most importantly, it's delicious. I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to make it right after my silly chef joke. <laughs> what is the name of a chicken with lettuce stuck in his eye? Chicken Caesar Salad. We're gonna start off our recipe by chopping up a yellow onion. We're gonna start with that. We're gonna cut it in half and then we're gonna just make a really super fine dice out of it so that it's nice and small. So then we're gonna heat up a large frying pan over medium high heat and I'm gonna add some olive oil to it, maybe about a tablespoon, and then we'll, we'll saute those onions for about 10 minutes. So while the onions are sauteing, I'm gonna take some garlic cloves and run them through a garlic press. And that way when the onions are done, during the last minute of their cooking, we'll add the garlic and it really gives it a great flavor. And you'll wanna do about five cloves of garlic, depending on their size. I think the more, the better. So after 10 minutes, now it's time to add that garlic and we'll just work that into the pan and cook it for about one minute. That's all we need, you just don't want it to burn. Now at this point, this recipe gets super simple. As you can see, we're gonna put those onions and garlic into a stock pot or the Instant Pot, depending on what you're doing. And everything just goes in the pot and we cook it for about an hour and a half. I have some boneless, skinless chicken thighs here and you wanna use the thighs because they just stay nice and tender and juicy. And uh, the, there's probably about 10 or 11 here, which makes a nice amount. And you just add those to the pot. Next, I'm adding some organic fire-roasted diced tomatoes. And we'll just pour those right in. Next up is my mild green chilies. I got mine from Trader Joe's and they're pretty inexpensive from them. So I just go ahead and toss in a whole can of these. Next, we need some liquid, so I'm not gonna use water. I wanna use something with good flavor and that would be our chicken stock. I got mine from Costco. I'm using one carton of this. Um, you'll want to use maybe, you know, just enough to cover the chicken, depending on how many pieces you decide to cook. Now I need to season this up with a little bit of Mexican spice. So I'm starting off here with some chili powder. If you want to find the written recipe, you can find it below the video in the description area. Just click it down there and you'll scroll down and, and you'll find it. Ground cumin is next, so we'll add a couple of teaspoons of that. And don't forget to check the expiration date on your spices every once in a while because they do lose their potency. So for our last couple of spices, we're gonna add some dried oregano and a little bit of salt. And if you like my salt container and you'd like to get one as a gift or for yourself, you can find a link for it in the description of this video. Now that everything is in the pot, we're gonna give this a stir to mix all the ingredients well. And then I'm gonna cover it, bring it to a boil, and then we're gonna simmer it with a lid on it for an hour and a half. All right, it must be time for silly chef joke number two. All right, so a friend asked me the other day, she said, uh, well, how do you raise chickens? And I said, well, you just try and wing it. So while our chicken is simmering away, getting nice and tender and juicy and full of flavor, we're gonna make a little bit of coleslaw so we can bake some tacos and put this together really quick for a great evening meal. So what I have here already made is my famous dressing that I, it goes beautifully with Mexican food and it's already made. I'll leave a link for you in the description where you can find it. It's simple and delicious. Okay, so we're gonna add a little bit of that to our coleslaw and then we'll mix it up. Then when your chicken is done after an hour and a half, look at this, it is beautiful. So we're gonna take the chicken out and I'm going to shred it up so that it's nice and shredded, right? And then you're ready to make those tacos. Then once the chicken is all shredded the way you want it, then you're gonna place it back into the pot so that it stays nice and hot. When you're ready, you're gonna grab some tortillas, corn tortillas, and we're gonna place them into a tortilla oven. Now, if you've never seen one of these, they work great. You put a few tortillas in, 
and then you put it in the microwave for like 35 to 45 seconds on high and they come out piping hot and they stay nice and warm until probably at least 30 minutes. If you have these taco holders, you place one in each side or two, some people like to do two, uh, and then you can just start building away and it holds everything in place. I'll have links for you and some of these products down in the description of the video. Now in my view, tacos aren't complete without a little bit of avocado or guacamole. So if you want to make it quick and easy, just do some sliced avocado. You just want to slice it into, you know, nice bite-sized pieces and it'll be ready to go in each taco. See, I'm just sliding out the slices with my hands. It works the best. So let's load up our tacos with some nice hot shredded chicken. Then we add a nice layer of that dressed coleslaw with a nice tangy dressing. A few slices of avocado for some creaminess. A quick squeeze of some sour cream and we'll finish it off with a nice sprinkle of some cheddar cheese. And voila, we are ready to eat. These are scrumptious with all those flavors going on. Let me tell you, you've got to try it. Now, if you're a fan of beef enchiladas, well, click the link on the screen and it'll take you to my delicious and absolutely fantastic beef enchilada recipe. I know you're going to love them. Thanks for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know, show me some love by smashing the like button and leaving me a comment. I always enjoy hearing from you. All right, we'll see you back here next week for another delicious and healthy recipe. It must be time for silly, it must be time for silly jokes. <laughs>